Hi everybody, welcome to the Leap.com video for July 2nd, 2010. Today, the Labor Department released their monthly job report for June. Uh, overall payrolls in the U.S. fell by 125,000 in the month, which is in line with consensus expectation, but that's only because the outlook was significantly downgraded in the past week as analysts revised their expectations downward due to one grim piece of uh, economic news coming out after another. Uh, the all-important private sector gained 83,000 jobs, which fell short of the 110,000 gain anticipated, and it was actually quite weak by historic standards, but it was a little less bad than it could have been considering the dismal uh, ADP report earlier this week. Uh, the unemployment rate, the official one anyway, uh, dropped to 9.5%, but that's due to people dropping out of the labor force uh, rather than a huge number of uh, jobs be job gains being made. Uh, counting the involuntary part-time workers and the discouraged workers who are now no longer being counted as being officially unemployed, the jobless rate is actually 16.5 percent, and that's about one in six. Uh, to make matters worse, the, the, the median duration of unemployment rose to 25.5 weeks uh, in June. That's up from 23.2 weeks in May, uh, meaning that it's taking people longer and longer uh, to find a new job. The market tried to rally in the final hour of trading today uh, and briefly climb above the break-even mark, but soon reversed course as the sellers uh, prevailed. Uh, every sector was down. Uh, every sector in the S&P 500 was down, uh, except for the traditional defensive plays, healthcare, telecom, and uh, utilities. Uh, all three sectors made very, very small gains. Things certainly don't look great right now, and the seller could very well have been worse this week if not for the holiday weekend. Uh, on that note, we at Leap.com wish everybody a very happy and healthy 4th of July. Uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you next week.